how to use the 3D Streetwear Pack, the Blender, using Photoshop. You can download the bundle from the link in the description. So unzip the file and then open the folder 3D Streetwear Pack for Procreate and Blender. And then we're going to click on the Blender Streetwear Pack, which has the t-shirt, shorts, sweatpants, hoodie and sweater. So in this example, I'm going to open the hoodie, but this technique works for all the 3D models. So we have the Agile Design here, PNG. We're going to open that with Photoshop. It's really important that we don't move this as this is the textures that will be loaded up in our Blender 3D model. So I'm going to lock this layer and I'm going to add a new layer. If I'm going to make multiple designs, it's a good idea to save a copy of this now so that we have that to use later. But for now, I'm going to add my design by selecting the artwork, inverting it, and then adding a new color onto the second layer. I'm going to deselect that, and then I'm going to add uh, my logo onto the artwork, just to have some artwork to show you guys. So I'm going to drag that in here. I'm going to resize it. So it's just going to be a quick example just to show what we can do. Okay, and once you're happy with your design, we're going to go up to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. And then we're going to make sure that we save this new file in the same folder as our original file. And we're going to keep it in the same name. This is so that the textures automatically load up into our 3D model and we don't have to do any more work in 3D. So then we're going to click Save and Replace. Then we're going to go to the Blender side of things. So we're going to open up Blender. I'm going to go to the hoodie blender.blend file. And we're just going to drag and drop it into Blender. If you haven't got Blender, you can get your free copy from blender.org. It's free 3D software for everyone. It's always free. It's, it's awesome. And you probably already know it. But if you don't, blender.org. Uh, and as you can see, it's loaded up my files uh, exactly, my texture, sorry, exactly how it was in Photoshop. And that is pretty much all to it. So if we want to render this out as an animation, the first thing we need to do is go to um, Outlook prop, Output Property, sorry. And then we have to save it in a place we can find it. So in my case, I'm going to save it on my desktop and just call it 001 Animation and press accept and then we're going to go to render well before we do that actually i'm just going to sh quickly show you the timeline at the bottom here so you can drag this across to just check your design or you can press spacebar to preview the animation and then we can uh, once we're happy with that we can go up to render and we can render the animation by choosing a frame that we want. For example, this one and pressing render, render image, and then it will render the image out and we can go to image, save us, and then we can save it on our desktop and just call it one for now. And then that will be saved on my desktop. You can take that anywhere and it's completely finished. But if you want to make an animation, what we're going to do is go to render, render animation, and now what it's going to do is it's going to render out each frame, which is 250, as you can see at the timeline at the bottom here. And once it's complete, it will save the animation on my uh, desktop as I put that as my location. Um, render times vary depending on computers, but normally it takes anywhere between 10 minutes to uh, 40 minutes. So you have time to go away from the computer and just check in on it every so often until it's complete. Here is the final result. Cool. If you want to do other things such as change the background color, you can click on the background by selecting it. And then you can go to the materials tab here. And then you can change the emission from 10 to zero. And then we're going to change the base color from the white it is to whatever color we want. So we can have it blue, for example. Uh, yeah, and that's all you need to do to change the the background color. If you want, you can also go to the blend. We're in the blender file right now. We're going to go to scenes and we're going to go to the different lights. You can just 
see you can change the power to change the how, how it looks if you are not seeing any changes it's because we're right now in render mode that doesn't show the light which is called the view the viewport shader we want to go to this one here which is called uh, the rendered sh um, yeah the rendered uh, shader and we can change the strength and we can increase it or we can reduce it depending on what we want so it's really fun to play with if you want to test out different effects if you want to you can also change the color of the light which gives it different moods can be pretty cool um, yeah and you can just play around with these set these settings and find something that works for you and then just render it out again if you have any questions, um, just leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, uh, consider liking and subscribing. It makes a huge difference. And also, you'll be updated with new videos in the future. Thanks. Bye.